Today we're going to take a look at a twin uh, cylinder air compressor. This one's from Canadian Tire. I'm sure you could buy it under different brands. Just have to look around online. We'll do that after the fact. So in this kit, it comes with a carrying case. It has a coil of uh, airline here, 30 amp fuse. This is a piece that fell off of it. There's a bit of oil stain here and a couple inflators for a ball and a whatnot. So this one's a battery connection at 30 amps. So you wouldn't be able to run this off a cigarette later. So that's why they've got it set up like this. And this uh, line is just long enough to reach the, the back tire on the opposite side with the 155 inch wheelbase van. And uh, I'd, you're not gonna be able to reach the spare with this. They use a proprietary not proprietary, I would say they use an unusual hose connector. Sorry, it's not going to use it focus very well. But you can see that's not the connector most of us use on this line. But what you could do, obviously, is put a different connector on here and use a different airline. This airline feels fairly supple. It's not like hard, hard plastic. So it might be okay. So with this vehicle, the back tire is supposed to be 80, the front is supposed to be 50. I'm doing an experiment, so I'm gonna pump it up a bit higher than that. We're gonna go up to 80 on all four corners. You'll lose a little bit of air putting this on, but it's nice that you can just stick it on and not hold it. So we're on here. I checked this with the tire gauge and it was 70 psi. We used, uh, it's not going to focus on this very well. Anyway, I used this thing here from Wilton. It tells me the pressure here is 68.5. Now it's got two switches on here, one being for the light, the other one is to turn on the compressor. Now it's not going to start because it's above the set pressure. So you hold the set button. It's blinking. Now we're going to put it up to 80. And you got to push it up. So this is not ideal. You have to do this every time you want to use it as well. Now we're going to 80. I'll turn it off. Blinking. So it's not super loud. It doesn't want you to, if you want to put your plugs on or anything. It's moving up reasonably quick as well. That's the one piece that fell out already. vehicle's got eight lugs and 140 foot-pounds per torque, so it's kind of nice to have an air compressor with you rather than having to put on your spare tire. And with this you can pump up your spare tire before you mount it because it's probably going to be low. a bit expensive compared to a cheap thing. 
Now this you want to get it off as quick as you can. You don't lose a bunch of pressure. I was pumping a bit of oil out. Might have been good to let it run for a while first. I guess had a bit of uh, manufacturing oil in it. So this one was down to 50, which is about right. But I'm getting a bit of cupping on the outside of the tires. On the tire, out to the tire here, and a bit of front end wobble. So with the lift on this van, I just wanted to try at the higher pressure. It's not the lift's fault that it's doing this, but it's made it a little bit more obvious. Let's put the cap on here. And like I said, to get from there around and then flip this tower, tire down like a beaver tail, you'd be another six feet. And I don't think that's gonna reach it. I bought this was that locally you could go to a tire pump and pay a dollar to put air in your tires and they raised it to a dollar fifty and I guess that was uh, my pain threshold because I didn't want to pay a dollar fifty to top up the tire anymore so my Jeep has a steady leak in one of the tires because of the TPMS system and when you've got like seven sets of tires you're always trying to keep tire pressure up they're always low so that's why I bought this. It's just getting to be a, a bit ridiculous to have to go somewhere to put air in your tire every time you want to use a vehicle. I'd say the TPMSs are good that they tell you when you have a leak, but 90% of the leaks are caused by the TPMS. So we'll just uh, we'll take our time here and we'll watch the full pump and you can see time lapse how long it took to do the tire. This is an LT245 75R16. So it's a pretty common Chevy size tire I think. And I should just check the uh yeah so it's 80 psi max. You wouldn't want to have passenger tires on your vehicle and try to pump them up to 80 psi that might be uh any experience. So that's another positive thing about this is that you can set the pressure and walk away. So you got some Opio tire that's all full of cracks and everything. You don't need to be holding the uh, chuck on it. You know, you just pump it up. I can't really tell you how this is going to perform in the winter. It might be uh, a bit stiff. You may not be able to get to the back tire. I won't be able to really provide any feedback on that anytime soon, but it's uh, many months away, hopefully. You do have to separate the two airlines from this to put it in the storage compartment, which uh, is an extra step. And you can't really connect anything to it unless you've got the other style fitting, so it's a bit of a hassle. So that would be probably a negative, but I think overall it's positive. Like when you go to a tire, like a, a place at the gas station, you put air on it. If you're trying to put this up to 80, you got to be forcing on it really hard because some of them just don't want to really latch on without leaking on it, so you put all your body weight into it. It's not burning to a touch. It's definitely warming up. See anything leaking out of it? Actually, yeah, it is a bit oily on here. 
that again. Last time I turned it off, it went down to 79. Yeah, it's going down now. And you want to get this off as quick as you can. Check with the more conventional gauge. And that's interesting, we're at maybe 76. It's not going to focus. All right, we'll try that again. Seventy-eight. That's a pretty big tire. You wouldn't. It wouldn't get affected by testing tire pressure. So one of them is reading higher than the other. that again. It's 520, so it's, uh, sorry, it's hard to read that. We're three and a half ticks above 70, and there is four ticks, so we're pretty close. We're uh, within a, a tick and a half of 80. So I think I can live with that. Tire pressure is never going to be perfect. So, thank you for watching.